hey guys men of tech here and welcome to the channel and to another video so today apple released ios 13.4 public beta 4 and also apple released the following mac os version and tv os version however it's important to note that this time around apple did not release a watch os version so it's just those three that have been released today so with ios 13.4 public beta 4 for me this version came in at about 167 megabytes and let's go ahead and go into the settings and then we tap general and then we tap about and see what has changed here so if we tap on the software version we can see that the build number is now 17E5249 and it has an A at the end which really goes to show that this is a stable version now that we have on file and so if you were actually looking forward to upgrading to iOS 13.4 and couldn't wait for the actual official release date of the OS version you can now go ahead and install this public beta 4 as it's a more stable build and it has an A at the end and it also goes to indicate that this might most probably be the last beta version we get of iOS 13.4 as it has an A and is the best and most stable version. But the best is always to wait for the official release of the actual version of iOS 13.4 and sometimes it's also even better to wait a few weeks after the official release of the iOS 13.4 as there might be bugs and um, problems that come with the version initially. So as we saw the software version has been updated however the firmware version has not been updated. The previous beta 3 fixed most of the LTE issues that most people were facing when it came to connectivity issues and so you shouldn't really have a problem with your LTE or Wi-Fi connection with this iOS 13.4 public beta 4. Something else worth mentioning is that if you have the AirPods or AirPods Pro, connection time is now faster and if you go ahead and open the case it actually connects way way faster than before and there's no delay or latency this time around and so this beta version fixed the bug that usually caused the delay. Performance wise, there is a slight increase in performance of about 15% and also there is a better RAM management as switching through application is now better and more seamless and better RAM management which helps with the battery performance. So this time around, if you open multiple applications and switch back and forth between applications, there is less loading time and this helps with the performance too and this has been improved with iOS 13.4 public beta 4. Something else that has been improved with this update is assistive touch. I personally don't use assistive touch that much but if you do you will notice that there is a slight increase in the reaction time on the assistive touch and there is no delay this time around so as you can see it's faster and it's better and the delay has been improved now when it comes to battery performance this time around i haven't seen much difference on this iphone but some people are actually reporting a slight improvement in battery performance however most of the bugs that affected the battery performance were fixed last time and so with this update you won't see much improvement in battery performance and if you saw a decrease in your battery health percentage this is due to some recalculations that have been happening through the betas and most likely if you update to this beta 4 and get the same maximum capacity percentage this is likely going to be your maximum capacity when you initially update to iOS 13.4 as the recalculation is more accurate this time around and so what you see this time around is actually the correct information. Now we talked about iOS 13.4 public beta 4 being perhaps the last and final beta version before iOS 13.4 is released. For me personally, my best update of this iOS 13.4 has been the Memoji stickers. I use these Memoji stickers quite a lot. And also something else that I'm looking forward to is the car key, which is not yet here and also OS recovery mode. So car key will be able to allow you to unlock 
lock and start your car from a distance and also OS recovery mode when your iPhone goes into recovery mode you can easily recover it without having to connect it to the MacBook or to a laptop and you can easily recover it just by a recovery so if you are among the people that are actually waiting for the actual and official release of iOS 13.4 I most likely think that it will be released somewhere uh, towards the end of March so towards the end of this month and most likely at the Apple event which was announced that's coming at the end of March so it's just a few weeks before iOS 13.4 is officially released so yeah that's about it for me when it comes to iOS 13.4 public beta 4 as you can see there hasn't been much change besides stability and many bug fixes so if you go ahead and update to this version you will be using a more stable version however there won't be many features that come with this update thank you very much for watching this video if you like the video give it a thumbs up and as always don't forget to subscribe down below and i will keep testing this public beta 4 and if something interesting and important comes up i will update you so thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next upload peace